I'm not usually the nosy type, but it, it looks like something is startling Officer Curves. Are you okay, co-worker? You look jiggly. What's going on? Wait, you're on Tinder? Wait, I've spent the last week in this prison trying to impress you and, and you're gonna go out with some guy named McSame Man? <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to Prison Life, where today not only did someone make the colossal mistake of putting me in charge of a prison, but they were also somehow dumb enough to put me in charge of a women's prison, which means these ladies will learn to respect my authority. Now just between the two of us, I'm not actually in charge of anything around here. That's just what I say to impress the mildly scary inmates and incredibly curvy guards. Like, no one asks. Like, I was hired yesterday and I have no idea what my job actually is. It looks like I'm going to be handing out welcome pamphlets to all the new arrivals. In all reality, I'm probably just going to print off my Tinder profile and staple that to their criminal records. Okay, well, we've got Mary Jane, a thief. You can get processed on the right, thank you very much. Then Lisa Dondon, a hacker. You'll get processed on the left, and I'm swiping. So is this just prison Tinder? <laughs> We've got Remy Eisen, another thief, again, going to the right. Oh, wait, uh, I'm just separating the thieves from everyone else. So like, whether you be a, a jaywalker or a serial killer, go to the left, minimum security. <laughs> but if you're a thief, go to the right, my personal quarters because I'm looking for a gal who could steal my hearts. <laughs> Jane Watson, a dealer, yeah, you can go to the left. And Helena Cartman, another dealer, again to the left. That was an easy enough first day at work. Everybody still thinks I'm in charge and I didn't even get stabbed a little bit. You know what, you're doing a real bang up job here, Officer Curves. You keep this up, I'll be sure to give you a promotion. Now, I like to think that we've given these fine ladies more than enough time to review my profile, so please step forward, swipe me, and if we have a match, then I'll give you your clothes. <laughs> okay, we've got a large shirt, as well as a medium shirt, and size 12 shoes. Did you want pants or no? Okay. <laughs> This is going to be a pants-free prison. I like it. Now, you want a large shirt, as well as an extra-large shirt? I mean, the extra-large shirts are pretty much a boat sale. That's a little suspicious, especially with a size 10 shoe. Um, Officer Curves, you may want to search this one. I, I get the feeling she might be hiding something, definitely. Or I could search her. Yeah, I got my promotion to the showers. I knew hard work would pay off here. Maybe I shouldn't call these showers if we're using a fire hose. <laughs> it's really more so a de-lousing. I get the general gist of things though. Uh, okay, like just because you got a little bit of industrial, nearly safe for human use soap in your eyes doesn't mean you can cry about it. <laughs> You'll be fine. If anything, being temporarily blinded just means you can't see how crappy your life is in here. You're welcome. Next, bring him in. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to focus some very specific areas on you. Not allowing any stinky holes into this prison, that's for sure. The last thing I need is Swamp Butt just running rampant throughout the cell blocks like a pandemic. I'll put it this way, if I turn up the pressure, I'm pretty sure I could blast Shrek out from between these cheeks. <laughs> Wonderful, okay, who's next? I'm sure we've got more, ooh boy. Wait, I need to watch an ad to wash her? Are you kidding me right now? I mean, this isn't seductive. It's like washing a car. I may be desperate enough to get a job in a prison just to meet women, but I'm not desperate enough to watch an ad just to hose one of them down like a dog. Now bring in the next inmate. We've got to take some pictures for their Insta because apparently that's part of human rights now. 
Let's get you to turn to the right. Okay, and then straight on. That's a good pose. That really brings out the murder in your eyes. And to the left, wonderful. That'll be all, thank you. Now, for you, we're gonna get you to face straight on. All of you, I know, it's hard to swing it around. Uh, to the left, uh-huh. Now, it says here that uh, you are actually in for unlawful twerking. I'm gonna need you to throw it back and shake that cake. I'll take that as a no. Why do I get the feeling I'm legitimately gonna get stabbed for saying some of these things? Okay, fine, just uh, turn to the right and you're good. Have a lovely day, ma'am. Oh yeah, these are great photos. Okay, well, we're gonna put that one there and that one there, finishing up some IDs. Are we really gonna give them IDs to hang around their necks like it's a convention? <laughs> Mary Dodo. Oh, can I put in whatever I want? Can I make you Mary Do Do? No, it has to be Mary Dodo. Okay, come on. <laughs> Let me screw with them a little bit. Jane Hyde. Okay, fine. Whatever. See if I care. I'll print those off, and I'm sure they're not going to be sharpened and plunged into my stomach sooner rather than later. <laughs> At least I'm getting paid, okay? It's a win-win. This is a genuinely good idea. It's like I've been saying, if I'm gonna get stabbed, then I might as well bring a gun to a knife fight. I don't need the golden gun, though. I, I, I think I just should be able to... Oh, this is actually really difficult with an emulator. Oh, no. What am I doing right now? <laughs> this is awful. How, how, how does this work? How, okay, well, hopefully, when they do attack me, they're nice and slow. They just pop up without a weapon, and oh crap, it's happening, isn't it? Oh, okay, they're making a run for it. Uh, uh, I got it, I got it, don't worry. I, I, I got this one, and then... Man, the guards here are really well trained. <laughs> they just kind of wait up in the barbed wire, just perch there, waiting to drop the people's elbow on anyone trying to escape. <laughs> <laughs> this is the coolest prison ever. I don't know how I managed to get in here. Nonetheless, how did I manage to run the place and own it, right? No one is gonna believe that story if I start doing janitorial work. Come on, you're gonna give it away. I don't need to mop, do I? Why is there a urinal in a woman's prison? Am I missing something? I, I mean, you can't poop in a... Let me rephrase that. You shouldn't poop in a urinal. And I don't think they'd be able to sit on that. Weird. It's probably why there's so many friggin' stains all over this floor. God, all right, there we go. Now it's, it's a sheet of ice. I'm good at every job I do. All right, get him out here, get him out here. No more peeing on the floor, all right? I know it's difficult, but I'm, I'm looking at you, 3515. Oh, it's asking me, is this actually her? Okay, so the number matches, the face matches. Yes, that is her. Hello. So that's what these were. It's just a prison like archive because I'm not gonna be able to remember their names and numbers, so I gotta have cards. You're also 3515, what? Oh, because you're cellmates. Okay, that makes sense. Yep, check, you're fine, good, great. Back in your cell. We got 3517, that looks good. And then, ooh, you look a little nervous. Possibly because you're not a white blonde lady. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing up here, 2468, mm. but I, I know that you're gonna be getting a titty flop. <laughs> Wait, so if I have the wrong ID, will officer curves jump on me that way? Because I'm not saying no. Yeah, that's good. You can never really miss that haircut. And you're nervous because you don't have that haircut. Mm. Okay, titty flopper right now. There we go. <laughs> I love that they just ragdoll and crumple. You practically hear them crunch. Three, five, two, one. Yep, that's okay. So I'm guessing they're just gonna be nervous if they're in the wrong. Everyone who's calm and collected is gonna be able to walk tomorrow. <laughs> Everyone who gets flopped is probably gonna be in the ICU. For a second there, I thought it was finally time for a little rest and relaxation. You know, it's been a long day. I've done a whole lot. I thought I was sitting back playing a guitar, watching TV, but I'm actually holding my baton and watching men? 
Why are there men on TV? Is there something wrong with the camera? Because, oh, there actually is something wrong with the camera. Okay, well, let's repair it. Um, why do I get the feeling that I'm gonna get eaten by some kind of animatronic bear? <laughs> this isn't cool at all. Wait, it didn't even have any wires hooked up to it. Why was it sparking? Or how did it work to begin with? It was probably just a screensaver of men. That's the only reason it would make any sense. Now, let's go ahead and plug you in. And just like that, we have an operational camera that can hopefully watch women now, considering this is a female prison. Oh, yeah, first we gotta get the cameras set up. Yeah, we gotta get uh, full coverage. There we go. We got the cafeteria covered, and we'll get living quarters covered, and we're good. Okay, so everything is set back up. Don't worry, I'm also a technician on top of everything else. Johnson, for the last time, I'm not transferring you into the women's facility, okay? It's mine and only mine. <laughs> now get back out there and do your job, or I'll pay you, because apparently that's what we're doing here. I owe you 175 bucks, do I? All right, 170. Five dollars. Is that a day's work or a week's work? Because that's a significant difference. <laughs> Hello there, Officer Curves. Two hundred and fifty-one dollars. You are well worth it. I don't suppose I could just pay you whatever I want, could I? Oh, come on. <laughs> Let me just tuck a hundred dollars in that pocket right there. <laughs> no. All right. Well, uh, fifty-one, and there you go. Worth every penny. See you again next week. And other Johnson, 166. I don't like the look of your face. Could I pay you in only dollar bills? Like a stripper? I actually can. Oh. <laughs> this is gonna take a minute. Uh, it looks like we've got a bit of a problem here, Johnson. This facility hasn't been zoned for this kind of payment. Okay, it condensed and Broke everything? No, don't worry, our space-time envelopes are still gonna manage things. <laughs> Just barely, though. We gotta serve lunch now? How do I go from being a, a guard to the shower person to the lunch lady? You want some slop, do you? Ooh, yeah, that, that's a, mm, oh, that's too much. I'm sorry, I, I didn't see that there was an actual amount. I, I also don't care, you get a little spilly. I legitimately think the amount of money that I paid Johnson broke things because now people are just kind of sliding in and out of existence. <laughs> Hold on a second. Is that better? I tried my best to make it so that the liquid won't be able to spill out through your bowl. No, nope, I'm starting to think the physics are just going out the window. I'll, I'll do my best to give you a fine amount and then you'll walk away at three frames per second so that I can sort keys. Sort them by color, you mean? What kind of Fisher Price jail is this? <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Okay, yeah, I sorted all of the color keys. I'm ready for girlfriend now. Battery low, huh? And you've given me repair instructions. I don't think it needs to be repaired. It, it just needs the batteries changed. <laughs> it's not exactly rocket biology. Yeah, change the batteries. So how would I go about doing that? Maybe reading the instructions? <laughs> no, we're just gonna take off the panel, remove the batteries, easy enough. Put some fresh batteries in. I'm starting to wonder if they think I'm simple now. Did I do something to be worthy of that? <laughs> Can't think of anything. And then we need a frequency of 48.7, like that. All right. And back to sorting by color. Oh my god. <laughs> There's gotta be some kind of intern we can not pay for this. Am I an intern? No, it can't be, right? Because I, I am getting paid. To sort the sticky notes. There we go, more colors. <laughs> oh my god, even more colors. Wait, what? You want me to sort by color again, I assume? Maybe. Is there's, there's a lot more spaces. Okay, no, it, that, that's right. It's just weird. We seem to be missing one color of uniform. Probably orange, which is what they're wearing right now. Still no pants, funny enough. 
I'm not usually the nosy type, but it, it looks like something is startling Officer Curves. Are you okay, co-worker? You look jiggly. What's going on? Wait, you're on Tinder? What? I've spent the last week in this prison trying to impress you and you're gonna go out with some guy named McSame Man? <laughs> He's 16! No! No, no, no! All I need to swipe right for blondes is Thomas Blonde? Blonde enough? Okay, uh, Michael? No. Ivan? Looks like a caveman? I guess that's okay. John? Definitely a caveman. <laughs> no! Can I just say no to all of them? What if I say no to a blonde guy? Is that okay? I'm just gonna keep spamming no. No, she got a match anyway, I screwed up. Wait, who is this? Uh, hi. Jane? She swings both ways? Oh my god, I love her so much. <laughs> this is the worst. What do you want? Uh, go out with you? Really? You seemed really cool. You're also kind of cute. Ooh, do you want to hang out? Wait, why am I helping her? No, no, I'm an idiot. I got ripped up. No. What is wrong with me? Did I just lose officer curves because I'm stupid? And why are we helping these women become power lifters? Yeah, I would much rather they have hernias as opposed to more stabbing strength. <laughs> this one looks hard as nails as it is. She's probably going to go ahead and nail it. I'm not even really trying. I'm just letting them do their own thing. I don't know why I have control over their deadlift. Good for you. What are you looking at here? Maybe a solid red? Uh-huh. Okay, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> gonna see their spine come curling out their butthole. And, uh, whoop, that's kind of green. Okay, good. Oh, I gotta get three. Otherwise, it, I, I can't go in. I can't leave my shift until at least three inmates have managed to beat their one rep max. Good. Gonna hold it? Sweet Jesus. Lady Mr. Clean here is really getting ready to <laughs> do a whole lot of work. Um, who is this guy? And why is he hiding my keys poorly? I'm sorry, are you in the right place? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Crap, is it this one? It's still the middle one, you idiot. <laughs> and now it's over here. I, I don't know how Mr. Potato Head managed to get in here, but it's awful confusing. <gasps> Organize my desk, huh? Okay. I'm just straighten things? Is that what you mean by organize? I don't think that's really a big difference, but sure, I guess if I'm trying to impress, then I might as well really set up my best guard certificate. That might do a whole lot of work. I've been here for nine days, and I already feel like I'm going crazy. I can appreciate that they have signage letting people know that they should keep their guns clean, but I don't think this is my gun. Right, I had a Glock. I, I distinctly remember struggling to fire it. <laughs> so whose gun is this that I'm apparently gonna clean? I don't know how to dismantle a gun. How hard could it be, really? You know, you just make sure that the fiery hole isn't pointed at you, there are no bullets inside, and you're good to go. Just pick up all the individual pieces. It practically falls apart. And then you dip some of it into acid, and what, it comes out the Joker? <laughs> Good. Oh, wait, I seem to have gold plated it. I mean, I said earlier that I didn't need the gold gun, but if I'm trying to impress other guards, then that's pretty impressive. What did I say about making sure that the fiery hole wasn't pointed at things? God damn it. <laughs> that had bullets in it. Oh, okay, well, you know what else might impress? My ability to distinguish between two individual objects. Toddler level object permanence is truly an impressive feat. There we go. They're all low battery. Am I gonna have to change all of those later? Destroy dangerous messages, huh? Ooh, this one looks a little sassy. Is that for me? Oh, it's it's probably for the inmates. Okay, so I'll shred the dangerous stuff and the loving stuff. No, okay. Well, I, I just don't want any competition, okay? The whole point of getting a job in here was so that there would be very little competition. And plus, it's hard to meet women out there. Don't judge me. It's a pandemic. You know, in here, they can't run away. <laughs> oh, type the number in. All right. Uh, seven, nine, five, six, one. Um, What's up with the 
keypad that disappeared. Usually keypads go one to nine. They don't just cut out the numbers you don't need. I don't know why I'm asking you. You have no idea how this works. <laughs> you just want me to punch in your numbers. You can go get lunch or whatever. Six, three, there you go. Oh, am I releasing them? That might be the case. I didn't think people would be allowed out of here, but it'll make dating them a whole lot easier. Yeah, there you go. I'll see you later, Stabby Gladys. I'm, I'm sorry, Stabby Gilmore, maybe? Uh, attach ID, uh-huh, okay. And then sign off on you leaving. Little something like uh, this, and you're good to go. Attach you here, and uh, maybe put my phone number, which is gonna be difficult. Seven, 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 seven. Oh, missing a seven. She'll be able to figure it out, though, I'm sure. <laughs> Lee, I would rather not have contact me, considering she looks like Roseanne on a pound of crack, so I'm just gonna sign this, uh, go Oh. Way. Oh, okay, yeah, close enough. I guess my pen just kind of runs out of ink. <laughs> At least they're free now. I got $500 in the bank for 10 days of work. That's fine, maybe? I actually don't know. No, it's definitely not good. I can spend that money on random crap for my office, which isn't all that interesting, or I can spend it to dress up all the inmates like my own little personal dolls. Problem being, I can only afford one outfit. All of the others cost more than what I've earned in 10 days of work. I could even dress up Officer Curves to look like Willy Wonka for some reason. If I'm into that, I'm kind of not. Who has time for this? All right, you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Prison Life, guys. It looks like every 10 days our jobs cycle back. So once again, I'm gonna be processing people, getting them into the system, hosing them down, stuff that you've already seen. And like, these games aren't good. If anything, they're pretty bad. Like this one didn't even have sound, which blows my mind. <laughs> But they're just so much fun to commentate over and they make for such funny videos. So if you guys know of any more, if you want to see more stuff like this, be sure to leave a like in the video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return to search for love in all the wrong places again soon. Thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.